All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through a tired Monday morning edition of the drive through as always sponsored by the deli. Tired? Stop by the deli. Get yourself some coffee with cream. No sugar, please. All right, we're in 1-6 today. No new vocabulary in this section. Just a different way to prove statements or prove facts to be true. So the majority of this class, we will utilize the two-column proof. But for today, in 1-6, we will introduce you to the paragraph proof. Some students prefer this. Um, the ones that don't, well, you're in luck because we won't do a whole lot of it. However, on your standardized tests, last year, your park test. This year, it seems like it will be called the error test. The majority of your logic statements are paragraph proofs. They're not necessarily two column proofs. These are nothing different. Just think of yourself like a lawyer. Don't make a statement unless you can support that statement with a fact. That's all you have to remember. And then make a logical argument based on the writing or English background that you already have. So example one is pretty simple. Angle O is 67 and a half degrees. Angle P is 67 degrees and 30 minutes. We have to prove that angle O is congruent to angle P. All we have to do is make a logical argument. So we know that there are 30, sorry, 60 degrees in 60 minutes in one degree. Therefore, one half of a degree will contain 30 minutes. This fact makes 67 and one half and one half degrees congruent to 67 degrees and 30 minutes. Since the measures of the angles are the same. That's it. That's all you got to do. Let's see another example. Given the diagram as shown, prove that angle DBC is congruent to angle E. Well, here we will use kind of a combination of paragraphs and then mathematics and then paragraphs. So we can assume that angle ABC is a straight angle. and therefore has a measure of 180 degrees. That leads us to setting up an equation Two x plus x equals 180. So I stop my paragraph for a second. Okay. 3x equals 180. I'm just showing my work step by step mathematically. So divide each side by 3. x equals 60. Now that I've done my math and showed my work step by step, I will resume my paragraph proof below. But instead of going below, I'm going to go over here to the side so that you guys can see it all. If you have to do something like this on your test or your homework, that's completely fine. Okay? Since x represents the measure of angle DBC and x equals 60 degrees, we have proven that the measures are congruent. The measures are uh, equal. Therefore, 
angle DBC is congruent to angle E. Um, you know, let's see. I'm one thing that was given to you in this diagram that wasn't listed. This wouldn't make sense otherwise. Sorry, angle E is listed as 60 degrees. So that makes that proof make a whole lot more sense. Sorry. I'll give you a second to read through that. And now one final example. This is actually an example of finding a counterexample. So they say that given angle 1 is acute and angle 2 is acute. No picture is given, so let's draw one. And then it says, prove angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Well, I hope that it's obvious to you when you read this that this is not necessarily something that's tr always true. And if it's not always true, we can't prove it to be true. When we prove something true, we are proving it to always be true. So what we need to say is find a counterexample. So let angle 1 equal 40 degrees and angle 2 equal 80 degrees. By definition of acute angles, both of these angles are less than 90 and are therefore acute. However, the measure of angle 1 is not con equal to the measure of angle 2. Therefore, angle 1 is not congruent to angle 2 based on the counter example that I have provided. So I guess this would be a new vocabulary word. It's not provided to you in your notes, but um, that's something that's certainly important. A counter example is an example that meets the requirements of the given but disproves the desired result. All you need is one counterexample to prove something to be false. I hope that helps you get started on tonight's homework. Very uh, logical start to the week with proofs based on bisection and trisection on Monday and then paragraph proofs on Tuesday. Remember, your test in here is next Monday. Boop!